We finally have the GLOBE study, a comprehensive research project involving 170 researchers studying 62 societies. It identifies nine cultural dimensions, also power distance, like uh, of status dimension. It deals with societal equally, uh, equality or inequality. Uh, the second is uncertainty avoidance, the extent to which a society relies on social norms and procedures to alleviate unpredictability. The third is human orientation, the degree to which a society encourages and rewards individuals for being fair, altruistic, generous, caring and kind to others. Then follows institution collectivism, the degree to which organizational and societal institutional practices encourage and reward collective distribution of resources and collective action. The next one is in-group collectivism, the degree to which individuals expresses pride, loyalty and uh, cohesiveness in their organizations or families. Then assertiveness, the degree to which uh, uh, individuals in a society are assertive, confrontational and aggressive in their social relationships. Then we have gender egalitarianism, the degree to which a society minimizes gender role differences and gender uh, discrimination. Finally, we have future orientation, the extent to which a society encourages and rewards future-oriented behaviors such as planning and delaying gratification. The last, the very last one, is performance orientation, the degree to which a society encourages and rewards groups, members, and performance improvement and excellence. Each of these dimension provides valuable insights into leadership preferences and organizational practices across different cultures. Let's look at how these cultural dimensions play out in daily life. For instance, if you are traveling to a country that scores high in Ofsted's power distance index, you might notice that authority figures are um, rarely challenged, and the hierarchy is respected. In collaborating with someone from a culture high in Trumpenar's specific versus diffuse dimension, be aware that they might not separate personal and work life as strictly as others might. And if you are living in a society high in globe studies and certainty avoidance dimension, expect a high level of rule following and a less relaxed attitude towards ambiguity and change. By the end of this episode, you gain a deeper understanding of these cultural frameworks, which will enable you to decode cultural differences and their implications. Whether in a professional or personal context, understanding these dimensions of culture can significantly enhance your cultural intelligence, allowing you to engage more effectively with diverse cultures. This session has enlightened you about the many facets of culture that shape our world. Remember, these frameworks are not about stereotyping cultures, but rather about understanding their complexities. So keep exploring, learning, and engaging or expanding your cultural intelligence. Join me in the next episode as we delve deeper into the dynamics of intercultural communication. Until then, stay curious.